Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in Google Plus for Business, we'll look into creating a Google Plus business account. We'll see a practical live demo how you can go to Google Plus and a step by step process of logging in and creating a business account on Google Plus. Before that, we actually what is Google Plus business account? We need to understand this first. It can be any business entity. You can be a business into any sector, any domain or any niche. You can create a business account on Google+. Plus. Businesses can create an account and promote themselves and it is an ideal platform to promote your businesses. Engage, drive traffic and convert your businesses. You can engage, interact and communicate with businesses or with your clients, with the customers and promote your business irrespective of whether you are into B2C or B2B. What we are going to do right now is we will go into Google Place, we will create a business account and see about what are the various aspects and features that are available for us on business account, a step by step process of creating a business account on Google Plus. Right now what we are going to do is we are going to create a business profile page on Google Plus and if you want to create a business profile page on Google Plus what you need to do is you need to go to a URL called plus.google.com slash pages slash create. This is the URL that you need to go. When you go into this URL, it will ask you to log in into your Gmail account or any Google account that you have. Once you enter your username and password, click on next. The page will be opened for you, which is Google My Business. Here, Google My Business page is available and here you need to enter the basic details of your business. Like business name, the country region it belongs to, the street, the city. Then you have got the pin code, the state, my business telephone number, the category my business belongs to, the URL of the website and the basic information. Once you enter this information, then the page will be created. Let us say for example, I create my business account, a business name as Stars Consult Digital Consulting for example. It is the business name. The country it belongs to is India and the state it belongs to is say for example Madhapur. If you want to add one more line, you can add one more line. High tech city, you can add this line. Then the city, you have to enter your city. Then you have to enter your pin code. Once you enter your PIN code, you have to select the state. The state is selected and my business telephone number, you can enter your business telephone number. Then the category, the business belongs to. Let us say it is even at a software company or a software accounting company. Just give an example and then you enter your the website URL. If I deliver goods and services to my customers at their location, no, you can continue. If you say yes, you can continue. It's up to you depending upon your business requirements. It is will try to find this business here in this particular area. If it is fine there, it is fine there. Otherwise, you will have to mark your location in this map. And this is the basic information that I have given of my company. Continue. It says we can't find this address. If the address is correct, entered is correct, set the map. You can set the map here by marking the location. If it is, if it is this area, you can mark this location or if it is, it is a different place, you can change the location here, whichever the location. Then done. Once you are done, the location is identified and you can continue your creation of accounts. Now here it shows here the following business looks similar to you that you have added one of is yours. If it is one of yours, you can keep up this. If it is none of yours, keep the information as I entered. These are some of the addresses that Google Place has found it. Keep the information I entered. I'll keep the information that I entered and this is the information that I have. I am authorized to manage the business and agree to the terms and conditions. Click on this one and continue here. 
once you click on the continue button it will go to the next step of setting up your business account here it is how you'd like to verification code is required verification code you want to mail it you can verify it if you want to verify it right now or verify later you can go about verifying it later also it will send you an email you can actually go about creating your email account then stars considering is this information that i've entered here these are the various options available home info photos website users create an ad add a new location if you have a new location of your address of your business all locations verify location setting these are the complete information available here and this is the banner that will look like if you want to edit this banner create a new banner with address with telephone number with images with photos with videos you can go about editing your business details here here it is it shows a banner here if you want to change the banner here you can change the name change the banner here then you have got the address here hours of business what are the hours of business right now sunday it is closed monday it is open tuesday it is open that i can keep wednesday i can keep it open friday i can keep it open open from what time to what time that you have to enter here say for example i am open say 9 am close at what time that you are closing you can give your closing time say 6 pm you can go about doing the same thing for the rest of the days and keep on applying that one if you want to apply you can apply then you can go on adding labels star store code the information if your photos that you want to add here you can go about adding the photos that you have got the cover page the profile photos and all the website details can be entered here once you go about this is basically what you are setting up your profile page the profile page of your business once you create a profile page you can go about setting up your account then start interacting communicating and engaging with people to drive traffic to your business and generate more and more traffic and go about interacting communicating and engaging with people inviting people to your profile page creating circles building relationships driving traffic to your website your blog or a landing page then make people take action there generate leads and drive more and more conversion this is how you are going to do the kind of business activity that you can do on google plus for your business hello and welcome back what we have just seen is we logged into google place we went to the home page of google place and what we have done is right now we have created a business account on google place a step by step process of how you can go about doing it and we have also seen what are the various features that google place offers us for as a business account some of the best practices you can think of implementing after you create a business account is optimize the business page the business page has to be completely optimized so that you can make an impressive business page on a business account on google plus the profile the banner image the logo what you are offering the description of your business the personal settings per profile settings these are crucial elements and crucial ingredients in having a very good and excellent business account so once you create the business account it has to be optimized business name as an account name it is extremely important when you create a business name or business account on google place make sure you use your business name as your business account name extremely important googleplace.com slash your business name do not use any random words so that the business name is identified with your page research and identify the potential customers before you actually go about researching and identifying your post customers it is important for us to follow them who are your followers they these followers are basically going to be your potential customers in future potential leads in the future you need to know 
what is your business of course you know you need to know what are the products services and solutions that you are selling and you will know what is the geographic target where you are targeting your potential customers and you will also know you need to do the research to identify your potential customers engage and communicate consistently once you research and identify who could be your potential leads when you follow them then you need to actually post consistently and communicate with them make create a brand identity make content so personalized so customized that the users will be inclined to get in touch with you and interact with you and this has to be a con consistent process listen and convert the more you listen to your potential customers the more you understand your followers the more you actually identify the needs and the requirements of your potential customers the better and this is only possible through listening them first and foremost listen to them understand them understand their requirements provide personalized content personalized solutions customized requirements drive the traffic to your website and convert them and this has to be the process not just on google plus on any other social media platform in conclusion what we have seen in this video is what is google plus business account how you can go about creating a business account a live demo and some of the best practices you can think of implementing for your business account on google plus thank you so much for watching hope to see you again